may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Good evening, family. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you push prayer requests in the bottom. If you hear a purring little speedboat, that would be Gabe. He is down here. Okay, come this way. Come the other way. You can do it. Come on. He's doing his little thing. Seems like every time I do a video, he's either at my feet purring like a little purr box, or he's over there eating. It's one or the other. I'm glad the first video went through, because I didn't think I was ever going to get it through. Literally. I recorded the video earlier, like I said before, and never could get it to go through. Yes, Gabe, I see you haunt me. But then here it's Gabe, but outside it's Luna. It's Can't give him enough tension, can you, honey? Just can't get enough tensions. No, you can't get enough tensions. But uh, I want to thank everybody. You all had some of the best confirmations. Wow, how many of you all saw the same thing I saw? It was amazing. Blows my mind. And Shelly was trying to set me straight on her dream because I remember I got a crash course on hers before mine. And it was, uh, she woke up at one, okay? And that was the one o'clock that I got when I saw the uh, Putin having the domino clock with one on it. So we think whatever this is, it's going to happen around one peel. We think, I don't know, we're not sure what's going to go down. But the good thing is it gets us out of here, okay? Now, a lot of people were scared in the comments. I told you, do not fear. We have nothing to fear, okay? We will be fine. I've told you all that since the beginning. We are leaving. And somebody, I think it was Sue, wrote me or somebody, I can't remember. And they're like, did you say Jesus was coming? I tell you, Jesus is coming every day. He is coming. That's why he's giving us this information. We tell you that every day. It's not a big surprise. Jesus is coming. That's why he's warning us. And so many of us at one time, evidently. And I didn't know that Washington Mall had closed down. I did not know that. And see, that's where I was at when I saw this. So she wakes up at 1 o'clock, and the next time is... uh now, while she was trying to, and let me get this right so she don't come hunt me down. Don't hunt me down, Shelly. It's been a long day. But when she first wakes up, she hears the bells. Now, her clock goes off at the top of the hour, every hour. Kind of like my Disney clock in there that mom had. She loved that thing. So at the top of the hour, it sings a tune. Well, hers goes off. But it does, don't, it don't, it's not a bell. But in her dream, she heard a bell. Now, we got tons of confirmations on people hearing bells. One of them was absolutely blew my mind. Let me see if I can go back and get that. Hold on. Give me a minute. That one is in. I don't know if I don't know if she sent me that one or not. She might not have. Let's see. She sent me quite a few of them. Do, 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 do. Let's see. It's still loading slow. I might not be able to pick it up on here. Let's see. I don't think it's going to go through. Like I said, even on Facebook, I can't send messages. And if I do, they finally start going through, but even it's just so slow. So there must have been a major hack today on all these systems, which that's about right. That's why I told you to really be paying attention this weekend into next week. So I think a lot of stuff's going to start happening. So keep your eyes open and your ears open. Stay safe out there. We're fine. There's nothing to fear. Jesus is with us. That's why he's giving us the confirmations and the things. He's letting us know we're not alone. I don't care if you're in UK or what. 
Jesus is with his people, so don't you worry. We're going to go home. Don't worry. Let's see. Uh, I bet she didn't send that to me. But there was a woman who had the bells. I would love to have that one, but I bet you I don't have it. But she had heard when she get four bells, and she'd been getting them for years. And she just got the fourth bell. So, so Shelly wakes up, then she hears the bell again. And like I said, her clock only goes off top of the hour, but she heard it at the bottom of the hour, which I think maybe was 3.30. Hope I got that right. So at 3.30, she heard another sound and she woke up and she, every time she'd wake up, she would write me. Let's see if I got this. I might, let's go back. Let's see so I can get this correctly. Come on. It's not even giving me the messages the way I'm supposed to get them. So it's. No, it's not going to give it to me. It's giving me old messages. I don't even have the new one. So, uh, but it, it was amazing to her that she heard that at the half an hour mark, which meant he's coming. Okay. So he gives us that. Now, many of you got confirmations about Washington. Also in Britain, you got the 9-11, all that stuff. A lot of you got it. So that's why I wanted to bring it forth to you because I knew many of you got it because he wouldn't have gave it to me. Like I said, he don't just give it to one of us. He gives it to many of us, and there was many confirmations. But we have nothing to fear from it. It's she got the bells, which means, you know, church bells ringing, we're leaving. And I asked God, I said, okay, what leads us out of here? What's the one thing that leads us out that gets all this started? And that's when I got the George W. Bush and what happened to us after 9-11. When 9-11 happened, what happened? We went into Afghanistan and Iraq, but this time it won't be them. It'll be somebody else. But I'm just telling you, this event, it's like it's repeating itself. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I got from the dream. I could be wrong, but that's the way I interpreted it. But I was in the Washington Mall and I could hear the Holy Spirit talking to me through this mall. And tell me about the Iraq, Afghanistan, and everything. But no, nowhere in that did he say I, we have to fear. He was just letting us know beforehand what's coming and that he's coming to get us. That's that's what he wants us to know. He wants us to know he's with us all the way. He's telling us events beforehand, like me going to all those shops. It was very strange in Washington D.C. in this big mall, and I didn't even know what mall I was in. But the Holy Spirit told me it was the Washington Mall. And they said it's been closed down since 1999. That's interesting there, too. I didn't know that. But in this, all the stores, it was daytime, but only a few was opened, and you couldn't hear a pin drop in there. Most of the mall was dark, like there was no lights. And there was a couple of stores, and the only stores I knew that was open was the ones that had British clothing. There was a British a coat there with the British flag on it and stuff like that. And some woman came up and said something to me, but I don't remember what it was. It was about the price of the clothes that they was on sale or something like that. I wish I could remember what she said. It was probably important, but there was so much going on. And the whole time the Holy Spirit was talking to me while I was going through there. But, you know, this is what I asked for. Uh, he told Shelly that I would get the second piece of this puzzle. She got the first, which was the church bells and the rapture. And I would I asked the Lord, okay, what gets us there? And then that's when I got all that information. But we have nothing to fear. Well, all of us will be safe. Don't worry. Have no worries. But it's just good that God is communicating. He just didn't communicate with me. He told so many of you that it blows my mind. And I know I've got to where we've been doing this now for what? About four or five weeks. And it's like we're all getting it at the same time. So it's pretty incredible. And I'm so glad we started doing it because he's working with so many of us telling us the same thing. And it's absolutely Mind-blowing. Just mind-blowing. Now, I saw this article, and I thought we would talk about it. It says, drones attack the interior uh, interior Russia after Biden gives Ukraine permission to bomb inside. Now, they went way inside of Moscow, by the way. Attack drones are striking targets in uh, Tartarstan, Russia. The distance from Ukraine is like 1,200 kilometers. I mean, this, this is past Moscow. 
And the let's see, the strikes have hit the area. Can't even say that name. Canusa stands or something. Air raid sirens are sounding just one day after the uh, Joe Biden secretly gave permission for Ukraine to uh, use U.S. weapons to attack interior Russia. And they said only near Kharkiv. Well, this is nowhere near Kharkiv. This is past Moscow. Drones have struck more than 1,200 kilometers inside that direction, deep inside the interior of Russia, are shown on the map above. In addition, drones also struck and are completely destroyed at oil depot in Krasnodar, Russia, shown as the scalable map. And then this is, like I said, these are way into Russia. These are not even close to Ukraine, so... It says, the door of the madhouse opens. NATO will strike through Ukraine's strategic targets deep into Russia. It says, the war in Ukraine now is developing into an open Russian-NATO war. And I think that's what the Lord was warning us about today. That's what gets us out of here. We've got China on the verge of taking Taiwan in an invasion. And I think they're both so close. I think they're both going to happen. All this stuff's going to happen really close together. So that's why we've got to keep our eyes open and our ears open. To Kiev to strike the Russian uh, uh, hinterland while the, uh, the Neverlands went a step further. The Dutch foreign ministry has confirmed that it supports Ukraine F-16s raids deep inside Russia, even into Moscow. So Moscow knows this, okay? So they know what NATO's planning. What they've done, let's, let's, let me rephrase it. I've been watching Satan on the move, okay? Satan's Satan's the one manufacturing all this, okay? So what he's doing, he's he's made them start a game of nuclear chicken. That's what Lucifer's doing. He's like creating this this illusion that one is not going to hit the other and everything. We can just keep attacking each other and just keep pushing the button. But what the Lord's telling me is that one day soon that will stop. And Russia will have enough. I know. I I know. I can. I can tell you, a hundred percent. They're going to have enough. And when they do, NATO is wanting it to happen. Stay with me here. These people are planning to get Russia to do it, so they can strike them. But here, very soon, the things that everybody hears asleep and nobody's hearing it, they're going to get a rude awakening. Awakening. Things are going to change. There's change in the air. If you can feel it, it's like a change in the veil and in the spirit. There's a disturbance. And that's these events we're seeing. That they're coming. The Lord's warning us, wake up, wake up, wake up. You're about to leave. Because, see, this event is so bad, we have to be gone. Because it's going to change the fabric of the world. It's, there's, it's just bad. Okay? I've seen the aftermath of it. I didn't see what started it. I'm just now getting a, a look into where this is going to start. I've already saw the end. And people like Bonnie and uh, Pastor Barnett and many others have saw the middle and end. But none of us really truly saw the beginning. We're only seeing that manifest now. So we didn't know how, where the beginning was, but now the Lord is telling us this is the beginning of what causes all that, that we've seen the ending of happen. And they're not going to stop. That's why I keep telling you there's going to be no peace. They're, going, they're not going to stop. The tribulation will be started through this, okay? Listen to me very clearly. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just trying to tell you the tribulation will start when all this stuff happens. And that's why we've been stressing to you and trying to really get through to a lot of people that's on the fence because they've been told this so many times. But this time is different. It is different. This time is not like any other time. The Lord's actually warning people in all countries and he's giving them the same information. That's why we started sharing this information so you all could see it with your own eyes that it's not just us, that he's talking to many. There's no way we can all be getting the same thing unless the Lord's coming to get us. That's why he wanted us to do that. So you would see with your own eyes, hear with your own ears, that it's many people getting the same thing. So you would know how serious this is. That's why we did it. The Lord had all this figured out. 
he would use many channels that he would start co confirming all this, that time is coming to an end. He's never done this before. The Lord is running this show right now. He's the one letting you know that time is coming to an end. He is coming to get the church. We're leaving. That's why me and Lisa have been really throwing that out. It's not that we're trying to scare anybody or anything else. We, we don't care what people think about us. We work for God first. And it's not just us. The writing's on the wall. It's there. Most people don't talk about it because they don't want to. Most channels won't go near it because they're more worried about their reputations. But the ones who are truly worried about your salvation and the ones that are not on that boat, we don't care. We want to make sure that these stragglers, if we can grab four or five each day, you know, that's fine. That's what we're trying to do. So if I come across forceful, it's that reason. It's because I'm trying to get some of these people that are on the fence to finally get onto that boat because I don't want to see them left here. And they're so close, so close. There's like, there's quite a few of them. The Lord keeps telling me there's quite a few that just, they're on that boat. If you're that one, listen to me very clearly. And you feel in that tug and you just won't make the commitment. Uh, this is not hard. Many's, I think many people are telling you that this is a hard process, but it's not. All you got to do is truly believe in Jesus and what he did on the cross, that he died for you and me. He died for all sins. Okay. And if you truly believe in that, you're saved. This is not hard. Do not let people try to make it so hard on you. So take that leap. Go ahead and take it. Because the Lord is really trying to get through to some of you all, and you're not taking that leap. He don't want to see you left here. He don't want you to have to go through the tribulation. Many people just won't listen, and they're going to be stuck here in a very horrendous. Listen, I've got people that hate my guts, and I don't want to see them through this. I wouldn't want to see anybody through it. It's that bad. And I've seen the aftermath just of World War III between Russia and NATO, and it's it's not a pleasant place, and that's just a, that's just nothing compared to what's coming after that. It's just one disaster after another, and they get worse. And I know it's hard to believe that what's worse after a nuclear war, but it does get worse. And we know that, but these people don't believe in that. But they're I'm really trying to get them to understand it is going to happen, and it's coming now. This is not years down the road. Other channels are telling you it's, you got three or four years. You just don't have it. You know, they just don't have it. Israel's surrounded at any moment now. This war with Israel and the Middle East is going to go nuclear also. They're all going to go nuclear. There is no stopping it. It is a cascade. Man only has so much time, and that's what these people don't get. They was never taught it in church. And Lord has really been putting it on us for years. If you watch little, uh, our brother, uh, Aaron there at God a minute and Dr. Barry and CJ Lovett, They're, these are the forefathers basically of getting us where the 6,000 years is. We didn't know this. So the Lord really started teaching us this, that man has a limited time here and that time is up and that the rapture of the church is in here somewhere. And it's soon. This is not years down the road, people. If you can't see that by what's happening, and none of it's not your fault, Satan has the press, and they're not going to tell you what's happening in Palestine. For instance, one of the biggest lies that you're being told right now through our press is that the people of Palestine are starving to death. We have articles out right now saying that they are getting more food, and there's more food there than you could ever believe. It's all a lie. They're trying to turn you against Israel, just like Edelwan in Turkey last night come out and said that the Jews are the number one threat to humanity. People, this rhetoric have also happened in World War II. But imagine Hitler with the weapons of today. That is where we are. That's why we tell you to get on the boat. Listen, this is coming. It's coming, and there's no stopping it. It's like a train. The Lord has taken confirmation after confirmation through many of us that these events are coming. I don't know when they are, but they're soon. We all feel it. We all know it. When you go outside, you look up, you just know. I know. It. Put in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. You feel it in the spirit. You don't know what it is, but the Lord's telling you it's coming and to get ready. The good news is we're going home and we don't ever have to deal with this evil anymore. So that's why we're telling you this right here is the greatest time in human history. And it's the worst in human history. It's both. 
we leave. But what we're feeling now, I tell you what we're feeling is the despair of the world because we feel bad that they're going to be left here. And we're worried about them. That's what we're feeling. It's the Holy Spirit inside of us grieving for them. What's to come? That's what you're feeling. I didn't know that to just now. The Holy Spirit told me. That is that dread because you know what's about to come up on them and they won't see it coming. That's what we're feeling. But we're going home. Jesus is coming to get us. Do not fear these things that I've talked about that are coming. He's confirmed those with us to let us know that he is with us. And we don't have to fear them. We're going home. Okay? Hold on to Jesus with both arms, people. We will be going home soon. I don't know when. But just keep on looking and keep looking up. Don't lose your faith. He is coming. You should know that by all these confirmations that we're getting. He's talking to many about the same events. That's why I tell you, if you get something from the Lord, a dream, seeing something, you're hearing bells knocking on the doors, your doorbell ringing, I don't care what it is. Make sure it's short so me and Shelly can go through it because there's only two of us. But make sure you put it in there because he's telling us all different things right now. And what I don't get tomorrow, you might get tomorrow. So we need to know. So if other people got the same thing you did, we are still know where we're at. Okay. He's walking us now through each week. And that's something else. We've never had that. And that don't tell you how close we are. He's with us. And he's letting us know that these events are coming. But he is with us. We're not alone. Okay. Trust the gospel. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. If you're lost out there, call up on him. Don't stay on that fence too long. He's really trying to get you over that fence. And you're running out of time. And we don't want to see you left here. We don't want to see anybody left here. That's just a horrible nightmare we don't want to think about. But we know it's coming for a lot of people. And that's what's really wearing us down right now. I know it is me. It's taking a toll on me. I really worry about these people. I love them. And I don't want to see them left here. They're my family. And I know there's going to be a lot of tribulation saints, but I really hate that what they have to go through to get it. But they will do it, and they will shine. But boy, I sure send all my prayers with them. It's going to be a rough road. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.